Hey everyone, I'm here with second tutorial. Uh, this one's going to be showing you how to flash uh, ROM. Uh, I'm going to be using Darky's ROM 9.2 Extreme Edition from xdadevelopers.com. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the market. Uh, I've already got this uh, app installed, but I'll show you anyway. You're going to want to look for Darkies ROM and download and install that one there, Darkies ROM Configurator. So once you've been to XDA, put the ROM onto your internal SD card um, as a zip file. Don't open it or anything, don't touch it, just transfer it straight onto your SD card and then go to the Darkies ROM configurator. In the last tutorial I showed you how to flash a kernel and I use speed mod. The reason that I use speed mod was because it's got clockwork mod recovery on it um, which is what you need to install this ROM. Um, you can do it through Odin and then get this but I'm going to show you it this way, this is just the way that I did it the first time <coughs> excuse me um, so yep this is kinda like a kitchen for ROMs, you can choose what kernel you use um, we'll use Voodoo which is recommended and I use it, it's quite good um, you can choose what modem, if you choose no modem it'll skip past and leave your modem as it is um, different settings like grey icons or green icons which is in your settings uh, you can choose whether or not to use Darkest boot animation or the next SS boot animation uh, like wallpapers, why it just chooses different things to install once you've chosen all these settings and you're happy with what you've got press the menu button and press save and reboot into recovery what that does is it makes folders on your SD card in a darky folder so when it's installing it, I'm not very technically minded but it somehow reads what's on your card and it knows what to install and what not to install ok so in clockwork mod recovery um, if you haven't got clockwork mod recovery and you've just got uh, recovery 2e on your phone you need to download ROM manager and install clockwork mod recovery through that so that you'll be able to do this um, so what we're going to do is go to install zip from SD card you use the power buttons up and down to scroll through your menu and then the home button at the bottom to select so install zip from SD card um, choose zip from SD card and if you can see there I don't know if this is going to show it very well Dark is 9.2 extreme edition dot zip. Okay. So like that. There'll be a load of no's and then just one yes. Yes, install dark is wrong. Okay. Press OK on that. And the installation will begin. If you're coming from a stock ROM, which I'm doing on this phone, um, it will wipe all your apps from your phone. If you're coming from a Darkies ROM already and upgrading, it won't. But obviously, you wouldn't be watching this tutorial if you already know that. And I'll fast forward through this bit because it can take a long time. Ok, the install process has finished, it took uh, a few minutes to do um, like I said I skipped past it because you don't want to start watching that um, as you can see now we have the Nexus S boot animation which is what we chose for the Darkest ROM configurator 
Okay, the phone's rebuilt right now, and everything seems to be working fine. And that's all there is to it. So in total, to flash the new kernel and to flash uh, Docky's ROM, took me maybe 10 minutes. So it's really easy, I just thought I'd make these video tutorials uh, just to show people that weren't sure because sometimes reading instructions is confusing and it's easier to see how it's done. Again if you've got any questions um, post them and I'll try my best to answer them for you. Thanks a lot, bye.